before I forget like I did last week. That's what I did. So we're going to talk a little bit about blitzing and the importance of blitzing. I'll talk a little bit, then I'll let Jenny talk and then we'll pop off. We're going to keep it nice and short for you guys tonight. But I run a blitz call on Monday mornings. Jenny runs two blitz call, three blitz calls, Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. and then Sunday at 10 a.m. If y'all are like feeling like you don't know how to get the ball rolling, you don't know where to start, you need to pop on these calls. We really do a lot of like intimate training on these calls, I feel like. So these little Zoom calls are great. You learn lots of things, right? But I can't teach you the trick, the tips and tricks that I do on my like Instagram stories when we're not like really working together, right? So if we're working at the same time and I'm showing you guys my phone and I'm like, this is how I make my Instagram stories look great. You'll learn from that. You learn from all these little tips and tricks. And while you're learning, you're also boosting your algorithm. So the importance of a blitz call and like a power hour or whatever you want to call it is to teach you how to work in little pockets of your day. We're all busy. A lot of us have full-time jobs as well, which I totally get. And you don't have all the time in the world to be posting on social media and this, that, and the other thing. It's every time I start talking, this one comes in. I swear he hears me and he's like, yes, mommy. Am I supposed to be in here too? So we all don't have all day long to post on social media and make TikToks and all of the other things. So we try and teach you little tips and tricks on how to work little things into the pockets of your day. So if you have, you know, 20 minutes in car line, you can know that like, hey, I'm going to, for the next five minutes, I'm going to like love on people's posts. Why do we do like five minute and 10 minute like timers? Because we get lost in the scroll, friends. We get lost in the scroll. If we don't have a task that we are doing and like a timer, we will continue to do like that because it's social media. That's like what it's about. I know that's, that's what happens to me. I get like sucked in and I'm like, shoot, how long have I been doing this? So I always set little timers for myself, five, six, depending on the task. Some tasks I know will take me longer. So I'll give myself a longer time, like period. And then like, Carline is just a great example because I always sat in Carline for like 20, 30 minutes probably. So I knew that I would have 20 minutes that I could sit there and I could go live in my stories, like do a little like quick, like hands-free in my stories. And then I could do a couple other slides if I needed to. I could follow up with a few people in my messenger and then the kids usually got in the car. But that was like, that would give me 10 minutes of this, 10 minutes of this back and forth. And I got that done. And I at least made some connections here, right? Because if you're not even doing any of the things, you're never going to make the connections, right? Um, you don't realize how powerful it is to, when you're watching people's stories, to actually comment. So it goes to their messages, right? Because then you can have that genuine conversation with someone. So if you like somebody's shirt, you can be like, girl, that shirt looks so cute on you. Where did you get it? It starts a conversation. It's a genuine conversation. And then they start to see your stuff more because you've engaged in the messenger part of Facebook, of Instagram, of TikTok. It just will start to push you out more. That's how to these people. And the more they see you and the more they see you're showing up in your stories every day and you're taking your products and you are being consistent, the more people are going to trust you. And the more they're going to be like, okay, I see what you're doing here. I see the products that you're selling and I see that you are changing. So like, let's have a conversation. I think that a lot of you could probably attest to that. Um, and then I think there's a lot of us that, you know, we can also lie to ourselves and we're like, yeah, yeah, I'm totally doing the thing. So we're just really scrolling. So like, are we intentionally like doing things on social media or are we just scrolling? Because there is a very big difference, right? And these power hours are designed to help you not just scroll because I'm going to say like one more thing and I'm going to let Jenny kind of talk about blitzes and the importance and I think that's how her and I have really built what we've got going on here is these blitzes and being consistent. But, um, shit, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> this has happened to me so many times today. You guys, I don't know why I just lost my train of thought. I was going to say, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's embarrassing when you do things like this. It really is. Anyone remember what I was saying? <laughs> oh, shit. The importance of blitzes is how Jenny and I built our businesses. What were they going to say? Oh my gosh. Maybe it will come back to me if Jenny, Jenny, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with it. 
I was like, I can't backtrack. I feel like you were about to say something completely like different. And yeah, I have no idea. Right. I was too. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna let you go and I'm going to think about it. <laughs> you were talking about aimlessly scrolling. And I think you right. were just dump into like the blitz thing. Thank you. Like Thank you, Lily. There we go. We're back. I found it. I love you guys. Thank you. So I think the second that I started to treat my social media as my business and not as just like something to do while I'm sitting on the couch is when things really changed for me. I only get on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok to A, blitz a little bit and love on other people. So they start to see my stuff a little bit more. You need that engagement. I spend time on social media, putting up my own posts, my own content. But other than that, I do not waste my time on social media anymore. It's very interesting to me. I started treating Facebook as my, as my, as my brick and brick and mortar business. You know, I turn the open sign on every single day, every post that I make, I don't post things that are just like about like my, if I'm posting about my dogs, there's usually an Ariel dog treat somewhere or something about the fact that, did you know that dogs have an endocannabinoid system as well? There's always some sort of knowledge or learning or value that I'm trying to give with every post I make. So I highly encourage you guys to like audit your profile. The things on your wall, are they providing value? Are you giving value? Are you giving value? Like that's something that I highly recommend that everybody does is audit their profile. And you should do it every couple of weeks because other people tag you in things. And while that's a beautiful thing, sometimes you don't want that being shown on your wall. Doesn't mean you don't want to be tagged in it, but you can still hide things from your wall. Um, because it's where people are going to come and try and find out more information. And if you have a bunch of TikToks that you've shared and a bunch of like dumb memes, like how is anybody going to find like what you're about? How is anyone going to find like, how are they going to find out more about an endocannabinoid system if you don't have any of those posts, but you talked about it once, right? So you want to be consistent um, and you don't want to get lost in the scroll. I think that that was something that I really, really struggled with for a long time. And now it's like, if I do want to scroll, I give myself a timer. I set a timer. You get 10 minutes scroll and that's like it. But usually while I'm scrolling, I'm loving on something and I'm, post and I'm commenting on people's stuff. It's still working, so to speak. You know, like I don't really just sit there and watch TikToks for no reason. If I'm going to sit there and watch TikToks for 15 minutes, I'm saving a bunch of TikToks that I'd like to recreate, or I'm saving them because I feel like, Ooh, this could be a great song to use with like this product for myself, or Ooh, this would be a really great mental like health and wellness post that I could do next week. Things like that. Just be intentional with your scrolling and stuff like that. So Jenny, I'm going to let you talk now. I've talked enough. Sorry, I think that was really good. Um, definitely. I agree with everything that you said. I was only just going to touch on a few more things because you did a great job. So um, hi, everybody. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for hopping on. I see a few new faces here. I see some names I don't even know, which is awesome. So hello. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, as Darnell said, your page, whenever you become part of this business, I think something important to note is you don't have to completely change the way that you post, but you do want to consider that, um, sorry, somebody jumped off and that always distracts me too. Squirrels. We're all squirrels here, by the way, in case, in case you didn't know, everybody is pretty much a part of this company because we have some sort of mental thing. So, Hey, you're in great company, by the way, when you make mistakes, everybody makes mistakes. And so many people are afraid to show that because so many people are afraid to fail and fall flat on their face. And quite honestly, it doesn't matter how many times you fall. It matters how you get back up. And if you get back up, right. So, um, Please, whenever you are first starting this business, do not compare your chapter one with somebody else's chapter 10. This is like really huge whenever it comes to first starting this. Um, the blitzes are a great place and our power hours are a great place to come and to learn how to like not do that or how if you feel like you failed, why you failed. Please feel free to come to us, to any of the leaders here. We're willing to like audit posts for you. We're willing to read over things before you post them because believe it or not, there are are things like algorithms there are words that you say and if you put them in your post you automatically are like working against you know you're, you're going an uphill battle just because you simply said the word 
sell or while supplies last or something like that. And it's like, it's not even your fault. You had a beautiful post. You put this little thing in there and Facebook flags that every single time, right? So these sort of things we can help you with and we can do that on the power hour. If you have questions about how to do your business, power hour, right? Like if you have questions about how to make an Instagram or how to make a TikTok, come to the power hour. If you have questions about where do I go on my app to find this, that's a great place to come to. And we can actually like show you. Um, these aren't really recorded, the blitzes. They're just kind of things that we do. We play music for warning. If you're, <laughs> if you don't like Lizzo and things of that nature, you might not like our music. And I do apologize, <laughs> but it is, um, it is what pumps most of us up. Whitney is the best at the actual, um, the DJ part of it, I will say, I'm the cheapskate who deals with the um, <laughs> the Pandora ads because I still haven't figured out Spotify and how to deal with like an actual radio list. But anyways, uh, it's really a good time. And to be honest with you, if you see now, if you all, I see a few faces on here. I see you guys smiling and laughing. This is what this community is about, right? This is what network marketing is about. There are so many people these days that are stuck in their house in these four walls behind a screen and they have nobody. Um, so network marketing is a great place for people to find community. There really are so many good, powerful leaders here that are willing to pour into people that want genuinely want, I've never seen a group of women with so many women that genuinely just want to see other women fly. Like we all have been somewhere where it feels like we were powerless and like we take it personal whenever other women feel that way and we want to help y'all succeed, right? So like, I think that that's beautiful about this particular company here. So um, show that. You know what I mean? Whenever you're here on these power hours, we tell you to do that. We tell you that's really important with um, when you show up for yourself and on your timeline. And whenever you first get going here and you don't really know what we're all about, if it's the community that brought you here, talk about it because other people need the community too, right? Um, so yeah, that's about all I really got. So I think that Darnell did a great job telling you about the things we do um, I, I was mentioning the brick and mortar story. So your stories are more like your commercials is what we try to tell you. Facebook really doesn't like you to be salesy these days, but it really doesn't flag things in your stories very much, right? Because your stories just kind of run on this 24 hour timer. And if you're up in the feed to be showing, then you're going to be showing. So um, we kind of tell you how to post in your stories a good way, but that's a good place to just like always be having a link, right? Sometimes people aren't going to come to you and ask you where they can shop from but they might click that link in your bio or they might click that link in your story just to mess around because they have a few minutes and they want to see what's going on. So we show you how to do all that stuff too. Um, just simple little ways to kind of stay in people's faces and let them know, hey, if you need CBD or anybody who does, I'm your girl, you know, is what we're kind of teaching you how to do. So show up to the blitzes if you can once a week. You don't have to be on everyone, but even just to come, if you, if you make yourself attend something, you will be showing up for your business then. And who knows? you might like it so give us a chance you'll see a lot more of me and darnell you'll also see christy and whitney and there's one more jillian she's not here um but she's pretty amazing too we, i think we're all fun so that's all i got i agree and i think that we all bring a little bit of different we all lead differently we all bring different value and i think that we all like you said we all like love and support each other kelly i wanted to just touch on like i think that having two separate accounts is always a good idea because you just never know when one account may get like, you know, hit and thrown in the slammer and it's always good to have a backup. Um, as far as me, do I have two separate accounts? I do not on Facebook. I have two TikTok accounts, but I can't, I just personally, I'm, I can barely handle one. So like, I can tell you if I had one for business and one for personal and family, I would never look at my personal one. Probably I would only like do my business one and the personal one wouldn't go anywhere for me. Right. So, and I also just want to say that, like, I'm sure that a lot of us are uh, a lot of new people here. If you're getting no's and stuff from your friends and family and people that you think would support you the most in the beginning, no, don't get discouraged because most of your friends and family are not going to be your biggest supporters. It's a really hard pill to swallow sometimes, but it is the truth that sometimes they're not going to be your biggest supporters. Um, you know, and, and sometimes I think that they're like, I can't believe my mom told me no. And it's just like, well, you know, it happens. It does. And they have to, they have to see you do it for a while. Like I have, 
I have a rock star who just joined my team friends and I've been talking to her for two years. It's taken her two years to finally like be like, okay, okay, I see what you're doing here now. Okay, I get it now. All right, all right. You know, like Lily's one of them. Like I've got a couple of them that have watched me for a really long time and they just have to understand a little bit more about what you do. And the more that you turn on the open sign and the more that you plug in, the better off you're going to be and the more that you plug into the flow. And that's the biggest part about the blitzes is that we teach you how to work the flow. The flow is what made Travis and Kristen millionaires, $7 million in three years to be exact. Number nine earners in the world in network marketing. That's huge guys. They've been in the field. They know what they're doing. Like all I'm going to say is what would happen if you followed their lead for one year? What would happen if you worked the flow flawlessly every single week for a year. What would happen if we, one year from today, our, our first week of August call, and if you all actually plugged in and worked it every single week for one year, there is no, I, this, this call would be packed out with nothing but sapphires and above. I know it. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. So friends, like plugging in, learning how to work the flow with us, and learning how to make this business work for you. The way I work, it may not work for you, but you may be able to be like, okay, Darnell, you do this one thing and I can do this to make it work for me. So like you need to make things work for you. And I think that on the flow is the best or on the call is the best way to be able to learn all of that. You know, just think about like the possibilities because that always makes me like smile. And one last thing before we get off, I literally was almost in tears when Kristen was like shouting out all of these people because it's just like, we started these calls, I don't even know, I guess maybe a year ago and we were like three or four people. Like most of the first calls were like me and Amanda and Kristen, like alone, the three of us, just like Jenny would sometimes pop in and be like, what are you guys doing? I'm like, oh, we're just talking to each other. <laughs> There's nobody else popping on. And like, Today, this call has 18 people and there's so many new names and it just like, it, it brings tears to my eyes because it's just like, shit, like this is what we've literally been working the flow since February. And this is how much we've grown. This is just like, it's the most amazing thing. And to see all of you winning and to be able to like hear her shout all your names out, I'm like, shit, most of these girls are mine too. This is amazing. This is such a beautiful thing here. Like, this is such a beautiful thing. And I just hope you all know that you're very appreciated. <laughs> and I'm so happy that you're all here and I can't wait to get to know everybody better. And hopefully we'll all get to know each other a lot better in Texas in November. I think that will be a great bonding experience for us all. So now that I'm done crying, apparently I'm going to get my period. So uh, we're done here. <laughs> I love you all so, so much. And I'm so happy that you're all here. And I hope you have a beautiful night and we will see you tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Our opportunity call. If you can get on the blitz calls with us tomorrow, we got one at 10 a.m. Eastern time and 1 p.m. Eastern time. So if you can pop on tomorrow, that'd be great. And I also pop onto this number like at 8.15 tomorrow to make sure we invite people to the call. So if you want to pop on here, we kind of do th almost three blitz calls on Thursday just to like really follow through. So love you all. Have a great night, guys. Thanks for being here.